Best Buy holds its first investor day today in two years under new CEO Corey Berry. So the retailer is laying out its new five-year targets, including hitting $50 billion in enterprise revenue by 2025. And I spoke with Barry in an exclusive interview. We covered a wide range of topics, including the impact of tariffs on its business, which is 60% of Best Buy's cost of goods sold are impacted. Here's what's so tricky about what's going on right now. Um, one, the lists themselves are still in the process of being stabilized. We've spent a ton of time, and we have excellent teams combing these lists, but they are not easy to read. It's not like this perfectly uh, uh, iterated list of what's on there. And so first, we're trying to figure out what will actually be on the list, what's excluded. Second, to your point, we're working closely with our vendors. We're bringing product in early. We're talking about mitigation strategies. You're continuing to see supply chains move. In August, when you were putting out the forecast for the year, there was some conservatism based on what may or may not happen with consumer discretionary spending on the whole when tariffs go in. If there are price increases across the board, what will be the reaction of consumers? We just saw consumer confidence hit a nine-month low. Are you seeing any change in the way consumers are spending at Best Buy yet? Yeah, so we, we really aren't. So interestingly, saw the consumer confidence numbers today, but there are so many underlying metrics that are still quite healthy. Um, unemployment at 3.7%, really low. Wage growth continuing. You also saw the most housing starts we've seen in 11 years in August. And so you're, you're, you're not seeing um, this degradation of the consumer broadly. Barry told me that regardless of shorter term blips over the longer term, everything stabilizes ultimately. And she and the management team at Best Buy feel pretty strongly that continuing with the strategy of its in-store network, website, expanding services, all that put together is the right plan regardless of booming economic growth or not.